What's good, y'all? It's the Demon Shirt, Sariac, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Let's get so it. excited about this video. If you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. These are many interpretations of the back. A lot of it is because that it looks so vicious. You see the bulging of the eyes and the protrusion of the tongue. And the yelling at the top of the lungs. It's hard to understand that they're saying, I love you that way and, and, you know so it's understanding that because it comes with so much energy but with us if we're not giving you our full energy we're not giving you our full aroha Very good. the breath of life so when we talk about haka it's about a celebration of um, our family tree and giving life to that for us aka is also the roots of the trees that go deep put in the ground and so in a lot of instances when you see the haka being done you know before a game or in, in war in that time it was about i'm ready to protect my family tree mm. okay okay now this entire time we have been reacting to haka for like well over two years by now yeah i have been trying my best to compare what can i compare this to in our culture okay and as he's Describing how, you know, it's rooted in their family tree and the love for their family tree. The only thing I could think about is praise dancing. Praise dancing? Um, mm, yeah. I mean, the aggression, it's, it's, no. It's spirituality. But the, well, no, we don't have nothing aggressive about it. But think about it. Praise dancing. Think about the miming. What are we doing? That's a love. That's a, telling a story. That's, that's a part of our culture. I know, um, but I was just looking at the motion of it, though. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying when it comes yeah. to spirituality and all that, and how we are involved in it with our culture and whatnot, um, and how we have history there, and it's mm -hmm. deeply rooted as well. But I'm just looking at the motion of it, and we're like a ribbon. <laughs> when it's it comes not the to, motion, I'm no. just I'm looking at it like that. I chose yeah. to. It's just like the ribbon of it, and for them, it's like it's like the chopping down of a of a whatever they're about to go ahead up against. But I see behind the scenes of it, yes, the meaning of it, the, the, the spiritual of it, the culture, how people connect yeah. it. Yeah, 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 how people run yeah. to it. Nah, a thousand percent, yeah. I get what you're saying. And so with that same reason that you can do the exact same haka when it comes to funerals, birthdays, acknowledgements, and just things around sharing and love what really haka is about for us. Usually when we send players out, they say their pepeha. So your pepeha speaks about who you pepeha. are. You say you belong to a mountain, and they say their mountain's name. They say they belong to either a sea, a river, yeah. or a lake. And then they say who their people and their tribe is. And so when the players come out, that's why the passion is so great. And that's what they're talking about. So this year, we start off as usual with our Māori whakapapa going out and talking about the Māori genealogy. <laughs> Bro, but that's what I love, though. I like listening to the story and the backdrops of it because the connection that they always paint, the mountains, the water, the land, the roots, the trees. And then when you actually see him doing it, it's like, it just hits different. But I can listen to this all day from different perspectives because mm -hmm. it's so spiritual. Yeah. And when they're actually doing it, everyone is tapping in in a way that the next man isn't. Right, right. So they have their own face expression, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Their own aggression when they're doing it. So it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's really they're dope. They're becoming they, they know what to think about. Yeah. They know what to think about. And then <laughs> it was a great way to introduce and bring in and acknowledge Dane Gagai because he is both Māori, Torres Strait Island, you know, Ngāti Guapa, Te Whenua Moi Moia. He has all of those things put together. So it only feels right for us that he comes out and he says his whakapapa genealogy from both sides of his family. Yeah. 
And then the last person to come out is going to be Joseph Topini. I got to make mention of this. See, this is harder than the basketball court. <coughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the basketball court. This is harder than the basketball court. I, I had made mention of that before, but... Yeah, we had to do the basketball. We did the basketball haka <clears throat> of Americans' first time watching a haka on the basketball court. Oh, their reaction. We had to put that on the Patreon. Patreon. Their reaction was priceless. Yeah. Priceless. Joseph Topini will come out and he will say, Kuo ko tuhoi. I am too horny. And then he will say, Kotaku Wahine, that his wife is Gamilaroi. At the end of that, he will say, Kotaku Tamahine, that his daughter is both Tuhoi Māori and Gamilaroi. And then he brings his hands together and he says, Otaku Manawa, that is his son, his heart. So as you can understand, when saying those words yeah. and looking at the opposition, it has nothing to do with war, but everything to do with Tuakana Taina, the older brother, older sister, and a love and a connection of acknowledging both Papa, both Iwi, both Manawa, and when I talk about that, I mean the hearts and minds and the souls of people from both sides oh, that's that we deep. are connected. And Hold on, wait, that make it a little bit, that add a little another layer to it. Man, what? Because if I'm on the opposite team, right, and yeah. you talking about your family, I should be scared <laughs> because you putting it on your family. Bro, like, <laughs> real talk, by any means, that's deep, bro, like. That's why the aggression is there. Though he's this playing it out of love, to me it's also, it's like, you, I'm about to tell you who I am, mm -hmm. and I'm about to tell you what's on the line. Right. And whatever I have to do to make sure this is where it ends. That's who I'm playing for. <sighs> and I don't just say their name for no reason. For no reason. Mm. <laughs> Be afraid. Bruh, what? <laughs> it's truly what we bring to this game. I spoke to all of our ropu, all of our people when they came in on the first night. One of the things I spoke about was um, the struggle and really coming together. And I reverted back to a kōrero, a uh, saying that happened um, in one of the battles where we come from, and it's called Rangi Ophia. And the British soldiers, they had surrounded the pa or the marae. And what they said was for to send out the women and children. And then the woman came to the front and the woman said, Ki te mate ngā tāne me mate hoki ngā wahine, ka whawhai tonu mātou ake, ake, ake. And literally what she said is, if our men are to die, so shall the woman and children. And that was a real a proclamation and a real kōrero to say that we are together and that you can't split us. So in terms of the kōrero about the haka and what they do, that was the connector for our women, our children, our kaumata to say we are that's, all in this together. And we that's why you should never take someone's history from them. Mm. Bro, that is powerful. And now it lives on the way it does and they still got that that, that energy, that fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That unity. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's just, oh, that's crazy. And how they were able to, you know, integrate it in the society. Oh yeah, I love that. it's great. Oh yeah. So this is my question. Do you all teach? I see that you all do the um, the haka championships and all that with the schools and things like that. But do you all teach the history behind it? And I'm asking this coming from an American lens and what we go through here and how our history is not taught with care. Mm. You know, not implemented with care. Um, so that's why I'm asking you guys that because I would just love to know what's yeah. going on there. And I, my thing would probably be how deep do you guys go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you tell a real, real? The oh. nitty gritty. The nitty -gritty. Everything. <laughs> we'll continue. Ake, ake, ake. Forevermore. And that's the core it all that we want to share with everybody. Oh, and he one of them, y'all. To the Māori King Tafio when he was building his house. And when he built his house, he said, uh, that my friends will come from all four corners of the world to build this Māori house. So to all our friends and our connections, um, we have a thing called rangatira, and rangatira is to be a chief, but what a rangatira does is he kararangatia 
in our tira. Raranga is to weave uh, tira is the different people, so that's why we say it's his job to weave us all together. The most Definitely. important part of this journey and understanding for us is to be able to be proud of who you are and don't apologise to anybody for that because you're Māori, we acknowledge that, and all your whakapapa that come with you, and that's what we're really about. And for us in this instance as well, you don't actually have to be Māori to be Māori is what we're trying to say. We're trying to say to everybody there, whoever you are, please stand and be you and be proud of whoever you yep, are, yep. wherever you may come from. Kia tu Māori. Love it. Alright, yeah, we're gonna stop right there. Yeah, I felt like we needed that one. I, mm -hmm. I need more of that because when we're watching it, you can see the energy, mm -hmm. you can see the love for it, the unity, but just to hear it from the perspective. Yeah. Well, how deep it is and what is like basically what we was asking, how deep do you guys actually go when it comes to the education side of it and the history of it and schooling? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's for us as well. We would love to know that part. Right, right, definitely. This was an amazing video. Thank mm. you guys for sending this video in. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace.